Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today I'm going to be showing you a little uh, project that I did to my RV. It was adding a privacy curtain for the back bedroom area. This is a very simple job that I did last minute right before we went on a trip uh, just to give the people that sleep in that back bed a little extra privacy because when you go back through the curtain uh, you would see anybody that's sleeping in bed while you're going to the bathroom area and I just thought that was kind of jarring for anybody that was in that sleeping area and uh, I didn't like waking people up either and just having them look up at you and you look down at them while you're going to the restroom it was just kind of awkward and so I put in a privacy curtain using some electrical conduit it's very very cheap and it was the perfect size very easy to work with and i also used conduit clamps to attach it to the wall so i'll go ahead and take you out there and show you what i mean sorry the rv is kind of in disarray because we just got back from a trip and i'm cleaning everything up and changing the sheets and blah 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 but excuse the mess i'm going to take you in there and go ahead and show you what i'm talking about right now all right so let me kind of show you what i mean here uh now before this entire back area used to just be completely open. So you had the restroom, the shower, and you had this door, which you could close off. Let me show you what I mean. So that door, that accordion door could close, and that would kind of set, you know, section you off from the bedroom area there. But the, the problem was you also have this accordion door here that go across kind of blocking off that back bedroom area, but for everybody else in the RV on the couch or in the overcab bed, you had to open up the bedroom door and pretty much be looking at whoever was sleeping in bed and then go into the bathroom, you know, and close this door for privacy. But uh, it was just kind of jarring to whoever's in this bed to have somebody always constantly walking through and watching them sleep. So what I did is I added this curtain right here. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. What I did is put in a privacy curtain that completely closes off that area. So now you can have either door closed or open and walk in here and still have some privacy in the bedroom area and you can still close the door and open the door. But the people that are in that bed right there still have some privacy, which is really nice. And I wanted to show you how I accomplished that. Basically, it was very simple. All I did is I took a piece of electrical conduit, you can see right here. And I bent that into a 90 degree shape just using a tree to slowly do small bends until it was the right shape. And then use these brackets that are designed for conduit, they're conduit brackets, and screwed those into whatever I could find that was, you know, uh, stable, preferably a stud or something like that. But uh, into the wall is working pretty well too. I don't think they're both into studs, just one of them is. And as we look over here, you can see I used two uh, conduit clamps over there as well. And then I painted the uh, conduit to kind of match the color scheme. I just went with beige. Spray painted that and put it up. And now we have a really nice privacy curtain that you can put anywhere. I picked up the curtain just at, I believe, Walmart. And uh, it's a little longer than it needs to be, but that's okay. You could cut it and hem it or anything like that. But I thought that was pretty cool. And... Uh, Anybody that sleeps in that back bedroom really loves it. I sleep in the overhead cab and sometimes, uh, you know, my sister or whoever else is going with us on trips will take that back bedroom and now she has a lot more privacy so she absolutely loves it. And as you can see when we're really not using it, I just tie a little knot in it and move it off to the side and everything's just like it was and still very functional. Okay, so there you go. Actually, it's really been uh, working great for us for about a year now. It's a very stable build. It's in the wall very well. It hasn't come out or jarred loose or anything like that. And uh, my sister loves it. She usually sleeps in that back bed, uh, that back bed by the uh, bathroom. And uh, me and my girlfriend or whoever will take the front part of the RV and the overhead cab or the couch in there that turns into a bed. And so we're constantly having to go back and forth, you know, whenever in the middle of the night or during the day if somebody's taking a nap. And she absolutely loves being able to section that off and it just makes your own area completely private. The overhead cab has the same feature with its curtains and so I'm completely isolated and nobody bothers me and I don't have to look at anybody and it blocks out the light and yada yada. So we've been loving it. So I just thought I'd share that. It's a very simple build. Um, you take, feel free to take any uh, liberties you want with the designs to make it look better or integrate better. You can paint the hardware. You can mount it anywhere you like. And just to show you how I bent the conduit, I'll take you to a little clip of me, or I'll just put it up right here. 
um, a little clip of me actually bending the conduit and I just used a tree that was in my front yard and I just slowly kind of put it in between and did small bends and worked it in and kept doing small bends until it was the perfect uh, bend that I needed about 90 degrees. And so I just did that real slow and worked through it until it was the right shape or angle that you need. So it's very, very easy to work with. You can also use an angle bender, but you know, that's a tool I didn't want to have to buy for the small project. Um, so I just used a tree and it worked out really well. And then I just painted it with beige spray paint and attached it with the curtain. The curtain already had the uh, loop in the top. So we were just ready to go. The entire project probably took me an hour and a half and one trip to the store. So it was definitely worth it. And I wanted to share that with you guys. If the video helped you out, please like, share, subscribe. That about wraps it up. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.